All right, we're here at the Artist Market today with ceramics artist Tom Webster. And uh, Tom, why don't you tell us a little bit about your work? Well, uh, Marty, I'm, I'm, uh, I've been involved in the arts uh, over 40 years. Started out in high school here in Petoskey and have gone through uh, Western Michigan University as well as Cranbrook. And uh, I uh, am most interested in mixed media kinds of uh, work. Um, I generally like to incorporate metal uh, with wood, and lathe turn pieces occasionally, and of course ceramics being my mainstay. Um, I have probably more hours uh, producing ceramic pieces than any other single medium, and for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I like the uh, idea of how quickly and easy it is to explore new avenues, new forms, new colors with ceramic. Uh, and the scale of it uh, allows for being uh, very delicate to uh, pieces being very large, if not monumental. Um, my recent interest in uh, evolving functional pieces beyond uh, something that's uh, strictly symmetrical uh, has really sparked my imagination uh, to evolve the concept of uh, utilitarian. Uh, yeah, well, you say utilitarian, you just recently brought us uh, uh, selection of mugs that were really very interesting. You have a you have a kind of a unique, different style, different take on those mugs than we see uh, from a lot of the other artists. You want to tell us about that? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of my stuff in general, and the mugs included, I throw off center. Um, it's a style that lends itself to uh, an immediacy of expression that I find very uh, uh, delightful and, and, and uh, uh, inspires me actually to. Uh, go further with that uh, technique, throwing off center, uh, to evolve into forms and shapes uh, that I've not explored in the past. Um, many of my pieces I consider to be models for what could be larger pieces, uh, even mug forms, not unlike the things that Clyde Oldenburg uh, has done. Um, I, I particularly enjoy different combinations of colors. Many of the glazes I use have been perfected through the years. Uh, Actually, a uh, base glaze that was generated by my art Rotel. Um, I'm now learning to incorporate uh, more colorful glazes and generally uh, find myself firing pieces at three or four different times uh, for different kinds of effects. And I got to say that, you know, with all the influences that you've talked about, your prices are very, very reasonable, very accessible to, uh, to all of our customers. Well, my thoughts about that have, have also evolved over the years. Uh, one, I'd rather, I like the concept of people, my work being available to people for price points uh, more than not. Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather have the uh, steady flow of income to, to pay for my materials and my, uh, and my time. Uh, and in so doing, I've discovered it gives me more time to explore uh, unique pieces, one of a kind, that uh, I may spend sometimes months, if not years, developing. Uh, so in the meantime, um, I help explore those new directions via the uh, functional pieces that I'm selling in your store. Okay, now you said you grew up in Petoskey, which is where our store is. Uh, uh, what do you think about uh, about being here in Petoskey? Well, I, uh, we moved here, my family moved here when I was 10. And uh, we moved from Ann Arbor, so it was a bit of a culture shock even at a young age. But Petoskey in those days was, uh, as you might might uh, verify yourself, uh, much different in terms of amount and levels of activity that was during the middle 50s. Um, just as an example, my graduating class had uh, 99 people in it, and today's graduating classes from Petoskey High will have well over 100, if not approaching 200 kids. I think that the, uh, <coughs> the exposure for people like myself in Petoskey and immediate environments has, has grown exponentially. Um, in large, in large measure due to the kinds of advertising put out both by the state and the regions of Michigan um, offering uh, unique uh, activities and resources available to people who would come here and visit. Hey and Tom, well thanks very much for giving us a little insight into yourself and your background and your work and uh, we have your work here available at the Northern Michigan Artists Market and on our website and hopefully uh, people get a chance to see more of it, get a little more familiar with your work. So thank you very, very much. Well, you're welcome, Mark.